Pat Croce is going to come in here. Let me let me set up what's going on. Yesterday, Baba Bowie and Scott the Engineer got into one of their heated battles. This has been going on for years. Let me play you some tape of what happened. Here is Scott the Engineer yelling yesterday. This is Scott and Gary in the halls. Scott got so pissed he went home early, he left work. He didn't work anymore. Get out of my face, man. And you don't know that there's issues in the car. I took care of I was working on issues. What do you think I'm doing? This is a Go f*** yourself. You must have been crazy, man. I'm sitting here trying to f*** work and you get dumped down my throat. Good luck finding work in here. Scott, that hurt when Gary said good luck finding work in a year, didn't it? Sure. I yeah. mean, you know. All right, let's go to another argument. This is Scott the Engineer after that argument yelling at Richie from E because he didn't want Richie using the tape. Yeah. Don't play it on the air. Don't play it on the air. What? Are you yelling at me? Don't play it on the air. If you missed the beginning, and you said totally it five times already, I heard you five times. All right, this is the fifth time. Don't get on my case because you get what I'm saying. This part of it, when he comes storming in here, don't yell at me. Don't yell at me because you're pissed at him. Don't take it out on other people. And after that, Scott went to Tom and said, "I have to leave." Yes. And this has been going on for years. For example, the what thing I'm pissed going? off about is I don't get to read Newsday. Right, you and know, Gary I mean, does. You know, that's Scott. Exactly what time do you go home? Uh, usually between 12 and 1. And what time do I go home? Around uh, 4 every day. I, I'm in here at 4. What time do you get in here? You haven't been in here at 4 since you were born. Full S, because How I was here. Know? I wish it was a time clock. You don't know. I'm here every day at 4. I was here this morning, but uh, like 10 I think since we yelled at you, you've been here at no. 4. No, absolutely not. No, look, here's the point. I am here every day you do, by 4. You get me. crazy every That's not year. Four. <laughs> I work after four. 12, but I work after 12. I don't take a lunch hour. I never All right, do I take a lunch hour. Listen to me. Listen I mean, to me. I, you know, I don't understand. You see, your rationale is you don't get here at 4. Hey, you're the one who brought up I don't up take that. a lunch hour, Gary. Yeah, don't read I'm supposed day. to get two hours of overtime. I you're, don't the one who, you're the one who brought up the Newsday thing. I'm just I'm just fighting back. All right, and then even off the air. was hired here to do it. Wait a second. Listen to me. Listen to me. Lewis was hired to do the transfer of stuff in there. What he is not doing, what Howard is up my ass worrying about, is because he's constantly working on best stuff for you. You don't want to know about that. I don't want to know because it's your job to know. I don't, I don't have to know. It goes on all the time. I had it done before. I had it done. In other words, I didn't always have to know. You dragged my ass. I had it done before. Right. There wasn't as much. So this constant victory wow. is going on all the time. Constantly. And it's endless. I can play you endless amounts of yeah, tapes. Yeah, there's tons of tapes. You, you are a chronic complainer. What's that? Listen, i got to take a break. You are. It's a, it's a minute thing. Well, you guys are still be spilling everything. It doesn't. You can't do nothing. Can I go to use a junior? I'll be back. Well, don't work with you. Don't work with you. No, no, no. All you're doing now is working in there. No, I don't stop and I have a job. Oh, you're telling me it's such a problem to wait a couple of minutes till you're done, till you have a break no, in the best of. Come back and you say, I, have to, I need 15 wheels of best of. And best of isn't going to get done if I have to keep stopping. Well, you should have done it two months ago. Gary, no, no. You constantly do best stuff. You don't constantly do That's a lie. That is an out and out lie. No, no, come back here. You want to start it, start it out. That's an out and out lie. You don't do it. You didn't give me anything for two months. So don't sit here and tell me that you constantly do because you don't. So don't sit here and lie to me. I, I put it in when I can't. You're a liar. You're a liar. And you know that. What's going on? Well, if I got to take his bull anymore, I'm out of here. Because he's an ass. This is this guy, what's going on? Oh, they can say Afro-American in that article. Afro-American. But in the paper, they... No, I'm just curious. Get the f*** out of here. Get the f*** out of here. Sandy, you're going to be mad at me? Get the f*** out of here. I don't want to talk to you. Get the f*** out of here. Scotty, I'm your friend, Scotty. I can't talk about it. Scotty, Afro-American. I'm your friend. Stop for a bit if I stop for a second. I don't stop for anything. You can stop for 20 seconds. Let me just ask you. You can stop for just in the middle of something. All right, listen to this. Do you have different eyes for different moments, Sammy? <laughs> hey, when you How about as a black Jew, do you prefer bargaining or stealing? Hmm. What do you think? Do you think you get offended by that? You ever yeah. Well, evidently, uh, this has been going on forever. We now have Pat Croce, who is from a TV show called Moving In on weekdays at, I don't know, it's on all the different channels. He's syndicated. Or is it Moving On? Moving In. Yeah. That's what it yeah. says, moving in. <laughs> Pat Croce is a relationship expert. Everything, evidently the guy's terrific. There he is. That's the guy. 
Hi, Howard. Hey, oh, Pat. I've seen him before. Did this guy supposed to be the best? Hi, Robin. Pat, how are you a relationship expert before we get started? I have no point? idea. All right. How did you, how did, what are your credentials, really? I am a physical therapist by trade, an athletic trainer. You know me because I took the Sixers from worst to first in 96 to 2001. So probably mediating between Larry Brown and Alan Iverson made me an expert. I'm more like a life coach. Right, don't bang on that podium because we have the worst equipment here. And every time yeah. you bang on it, it makes tons There's of noise. There's nothing muffling in it. Right, so I'm going to yell at Scott about that yeah. for a minute. But, but so is there hope for Baba Booey and Scott the Engineer? Yes. All yes. right. You've spoken to both of them off the air. That's correct. Hi, do you want to handle this and I'll shut up? No, both of us. Okay. Both of us, because you're involved here. The show is called Moving In? Pat Croce Moving In. Oh. Pat I move Croce into a different in. home in a different town every day. Oh, okay. that's what it is. Are you like a Dr. Phil? Uh, he's a psychiatrist or psychologist. I'm not. I'm more like the best friend who tries to give you, really what I try to do, is focus on where are these two guys right now and what are they willing to do to get to where they want to be tomorrow. And I kind of act like a performance coach. Are you like a motivational speaker? That's right. Okay. All right. Tell me how we handle this. You're the guy. What has he found out so far? Yeah. Robin, first of all, these two, I asked both of them, what is the problem? In one sentence, uh -huh. what is the problem? And the problems that you just heard on the air are just fluff or nutter. It goes way back. Scott does not respect... Gary. Okay. Gary does respect you, Scott. Okay. Is that a surprise? Yeah. Why do you not respect Gary? I got to tell you, I'm surprised that Scott doesn't respect him. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you respect Gary? Let's have it all come out. That's now. what's got to come out now. If this is to heal, it's got to come out. Honesty, right? That's it. Scott, why don't you respect Gary? Probably because I feel that I um, work harder than he does from, one, from my perspective. And. Um, don't bang on your own crappy equipment. <laughs> yeah. And it probably goes down to money too, and he gets paid probably a lot more than but, I get. But paid. why should that? Why should that make? Well, it, I mean, why don't you? Why I'm don't resentful. You, but why don't you resent Fred or Artie or Howard or Robin? Why don't you resent? I, I can't see your talent outward. I can see their talent. They're right. on the air all see, the time. See that? That hurts. <laughs> well, I'm just. Now, how does that feel, Gary? Tell him how that he it, feels. It, it hurts because I don't think that you're so talented. I think that you're very good at what you do. I think you do it very badly in the sense that you, what, what, the, the end result is good. You're a good engineer. You know the show really well. But you're a pain in the ass to work with. You're, yeah. you're sort of slow. And you com you bitterly complain every step of the you way. See, I wouldn't consider myself slow. Gary, you said to me in private that these new guys, guys like Sal, guys like uh, Richard Christie, move much faster than Scott. And, and they, and they show how slow he is. And happily. And happily, and they're happy to do it. You feel he has a bad attitude, don't you? Yeah, I think his work is good. I'll tell you, Scott, I was saying to Pat in there, nobody knows the show better than Scott when it comes to engineering it and editing stuff. I'll go in there with something, and I'll say to Scott, do that, that, and that. And he goes, I got it. Mm -hmm. okay, sometimes in the middle of a sentence, he goes, I know. And I, we look at each other, we know from working together. But if, if Scott's working on something, whatever it is, and, and you understand, we're doing a live show here. So it's very difficult to prioritize because what was a priority 30 seconds ago is now out the window. So Scott, I'll give something to Scott to do, and when I walk in, I go, I need this. His arms immediately go up in the air, and he goes, oh, you know, what do you want? Okay, okay. Is, that, is that true, Scott? That is true, and I'll tell you why. Why do you do that? Okay, because if, if I'm in the middle of working on something you just asked me to do, it's very hard to stop. Things don't, the bang creative, on, don't bang on the, the creative process. And, that, and that's it. You don't have the ability to adapt and change. No, and I, I can. You know, I but like, you don't. No, I'm someone that likes to finish what I started. Before but that's not how the, that's not how it works here. Uh, no, I understand. We, that. If we're doing a live show, let me let me ask you a question. If you're working on a very important piece of best of, say, or even a tape that I asked you that I said I really need, and something happened on the air that was monumental. I don't. know, Somebody said something, and I need that tape right away. Not only do I expect that tape right away, I expect you to move fast on it. Instead, you're like, well, you either want this or you want that. I'm like, well, I want this. This is important. That's how the show operates. Okay, Gary. Scott, can no, you do that? Can you do that? Uh, yeah, sure, I can do that. Will you commit to Gary from now on when he interrupts your work, and it's important to him, therefore it's important to Howard, will you stop and do it without complaining, without moaning? Okay. He Is won't do it. Yes? I'll tell you why. Yeah, I'll do it. I'll tell you why, uh, Patty's not being honest. Because he doesn't believe Gary is acting in my best interest. Of course I do. Well, you know what? That's why I want you here, Howard. That's exactly why you're part of this. Gary if... is my spokesperson, no, but... and if he you tells you to do something, you do it. You're it? I, I understand Gary that. is your superior. No, I know that. I understand that. Here, right. Here's the problem, too. I'm going to be working on something. He said, I need this right away. Someone will come down and say, Gary needs you to do this without any further instruction. Right. I mean, when does he need me to do this? I don't know. Right now. No. No, they don't know that. Oh, I see. 
They don't know that, and that a lot of times that happens. They don't like an interim. Well, why did you? Uh, why are you not being honest? Why did you leave here yesterday I, when you were not sick? I really was. No, you were. No, I was. You could be honest. Totally sick of Gary. No. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you left early because you had a stupid little fight with Gary. Absolutely, was totally. So are you going to storm out of here no. like a baby every time no, you have no, a problem no, with Gary? No, no. Yeah, tell Pat, look him in the eye, and I, tell him you're I, not going to do that. I'm you, not going to do that. I've already told him. I was he threatens totally all the time. Full of anxiety. I never do. But Scott, once yesterday, you admit that your battle cry is, "I'm out of here, and I don't need this." Um, and that, again, goes to, well, if you don't need it and you're out of here, if you don't need it, I don't need it. I no. want you to need it, believe I, it or not. I want you to need to be here. Did you, hear, hey, did you hear, Scott, did you hear Gary? He wants you to need to be here. He says he respects you even right. though you said you don't respect him. That's correct. So that should make you feel what? It makes me feel good. I mean, I, you know, I like to be respected and okay. I like people. In but that was a point you made to me that you didn't feel respected by Gary. Right. I respect your work, but I don't respect your attitude. My attitude sucks. Can your attitude I can, change? I, my attitude can change. I admit, I do have a bad attitude why? at times. Why? I, I can tell you why. It's money. Scott, uh, I, a lot of it has, it has to do with that. Yeah. Goes, well, what do you want from us? We don't pay you. I know, I know that. But, but, but I, I do resent the fact that Scott looks at me, and nobody knows how much I make. But I'm sure in Scott's mind, I will guarantee you that whatever Scott thinks I make, is nowhere near what I make because everybody thinks that I'm like some millionaire. No, or something. no, everybody and thinks I, I'm a millionaire too. But no, we, we actually don't. Nobody think that. thinks you're because a millionaire. You tell, but you know why we don't think <laughs> that? Every, no, I'm not, I'm not here. You'll, you'll tell us I, every not, step of the way that you're. Every, you know, no, everybody that that fans I'm talking about. You work in the Howard Stern show. You Stop must make banging on the bad equipment. You must make a good living. Yeah. But but what I make for a living should in no way impact on whether I need you to do something. And Here's my point: when you accept the job, right, do it. You, you got to do the job the best you can. You're right. If you don't like your wages, leave. Or Absol tell management you want more money or you're leaving. Now, I've said that to him before, and he has taken that as a sign of me not respecting him. I said, I, listen, we like having you here, but I didn't tell you to keep this job. If you don't like it, you should move on. And he thinks that's me telling him, get out, which it isn't. I'm saying either enjoy what you're doing here and live with what you got or go. Is that wrong? No. That's my attitude. And it doesn't mean I don't respect you. I mean, just no, I bring a new attitude. In addition to this, Gary, you also have to change a little. Mm -hmm. Are you willing to change and bring a new attitude, Scott? Sure. Some of the things he said from you, Gary, he doesn't like when you walk away from him when he's talking to you. I do that. I do do that. Why? Why? Well, because <laughs> because no, because we go because what what will happen is we're going over the same ground again. It, it's it's no, it's it's, a, it's this conversation that goes around and around. I'll give you a perfect example, I, I, and probably on one of those tapes when I walked away. Eighty-five percent of Scott and mine's fight have been over best of. And what happens is Scott is no longer at a place where he can produce best of. So he needs help, okay? The help should come from other engineers. He's got a chief engineer, Richie, who has to go out and find him freelancers. Scott will come to me and he will say, um, we have nobody. I can't get best of done. What are you going to do about it? And the answer is, I'm not going to do anything about it. See, I give you the material. You are an engineer. If you can't get more engineers on, why has it now become my headache? That's you and your department's headache. Why is it my fault that you don't have the manpower to do it? And I'm not, and I say to you, I'm not in charge of manpower. I don't That's hire. Right. I don't fire. See, the, I, I the boss reason, nobody around. But, it's not no, my decision. But you go to your boss. You go to your chief engineer who is in charge of that. You say, I need help. Well, you know what he's going to get. Tom Chiasano doesn't help get any help. Well, actually, i got to give actually, Tom credit they, now. They have, they, we have worked out a deal. But even before or, that, forget about the fact that yeah. you're now allowed to do overtime. Before that, Tom has given you people. You guys have not been able to find the people that you need to do the job. Again, I don't know why it's my fault. In other words, should I be out there looking for freelance engineers to produce best stuff? No. I don't believe so. No, no that's, that's what they I should agree be doing. With you. It's not your job. You well, do agree with it. You do put it on me. I believe that it's your job to. You should go to the people that have to hire them, not me. And we have. And okay. what, what ends up happening is you guys, you know, these these freelancers quit, and then and, you know everything. And, and also, you oversee the whole. Project. It's a very complicated. Process. It's not complicated. You oversee it, correct? The, the doing of best. The, you oversee it, and when it and when it's getting to be a month before best of, and it's not done, I always say, Scott, you should be the one that should be afraid, going, Oh my God, we don't have enough best of. Instead, it's me. And Scott goes, he puts his arms up in the end. He goes, I got nobody. What do you want from me? But Gary, despite best of. Mm -hmm. You'll work on not walking away from him when he's talking. As long as he doesn't yell, I will stay. Okay, that's. Can you do that? Yeah. Why do you yell at him? Because uh, you can't yell at his wife. I feel. See, that's where I get. I feel I don't get respected. But he feels. I, 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 I also think that Scott feels I'm the only one here that he can yell at. He's not going to yell at Howard. Right. He's not going to yell at Fred. He's not going to yell I at mean, Bob. Scott. Can you stop yelling? Yeah. You're like Scott. I am. I just heard these tapes they of you yell. yelling. Yes, I do. Yeah, you yell. But that's that's. Can like you I stop said, yelling? Like I said. It builds up in me, and then I go, 
I mean, and tell tell Howard why it's building up in you. Tell him. Tell him what you told it's me. Frustration. I mean, you know, I'm. Do you feel part of the team? No. Sometimes I don't. I'm made to. Who feel cares? Like, I know. See, Howard. That's the Howard, Howard, Howard. That's Who the cares attitude. what you feel? <laughs> wow. Howard, wow, wait. Time wow. out. Wow. Howard. Whoa, 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 whoa. Time out. What am I? Your daddy? Yeah. You I'm are the CEO. Your Howard, hold on. Yeah, hold on. Well, Howard, well, you're well, the well, CEO well. here. CEO, nothing. Who wants to hear this crap? No, Howard. You got to tell him he's important. He is important, he is. but he better he be, what he needs to be a pat on the back every ten seconds. He tells me that. And see, I tell you He is important. You hear that? How Wait, many like, times? You know that? How me? many times? I tell him all the time. It, yeah, it makes me. Feel he good. gets upset when you forget his birthday. I'm not married to this crazy <laughs> it's balloon. It's a birthday. It's his birthday. birthday. I don't care about your birthday. What's? Uh, let me ask you a question. What's the thing <laughs> that, that that Howard or this show has forgotten you for that has hurt the most? Uh, probably Robin not inviting me to the. Birth, your birthday. Your birthday. <laughs> <laughs> but here, I mean, Howard, you understand something? This came out in the green room. I feel that that comes back to me, in a, you know, in the sense that he's got this resentment, and he doesn't know where to put it. And sometimes he's, you know what I mean? Like he yeah, does. You're right. Him. Scott should have been there. Where's Robin? Robin left now. <laughs> she can't take it. She's either dude. I Robin. was just going to say, why didn't she invite uh, Scott to the birthday party? How could she leave in the middle of the? Well, her, excuse, her excuse was she had to cut the line somewhere. Right. You know, and, and then Scott I fell. Was the line. Well, it's true. How many people can she invite? But Scott could name six people that were there. Uh, obviously, I named Benji as one of them because he was invited, and he's only been here a few years, and I've been here 19 years. Why was he invited? Why was I the line? And him not? Well, you'd have to ask her that, but she left. You already went through that on the air. Like... No, but, but, but the point is that it does come back in this festering It builds up, right. It's okay, all... and it built up until yesterday where you said something that you do regret, right? I, I said something, probably one of the most horrible things I've ever said to a person. I, I was, you know, I apologize. What did you say? I said to Scott, good luck finding work in a year, meaning when we leave here, good luck finding work. Now, I said to you, Pat, I'm not the guy that hires and fires people here. I don't even have my own job. But it felt good to hit him with that hammer. It did. It did. I mean, he, got, he pushed me to the brink, and I pulled I, out the heavy I artillery. I want to ask you, how, why did I push you when you initiated the abuse on, on me? Well, because you immediately started... You, 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 why was that? Thing. Answer the question. It, it, it's... Scott never appears to have anything to do with anything. The, the arms go up like this. I, I don't know. I don't know. And, and and then it's immediately followed by him explaining to you how hard he's working at that moment. Pat, I suggest to you that this can't be solved because Scott will always have a deflated sense of ego because none of us think about him enough. He's an endless pit of need. <laughs> and something worse happened today, Howard. What happened? Where, 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 where. I knew that Scott and I didn't get along, and I thought it was because I felt, you know, I, he felt I didn't respect him, vice versa. But I found out for the first time that Scott really doesn't think I'm talented enough to be doing what I'm doing. Is that true? Now, is that true? He doesn't respect me. He doesn't think no. that I deserve to be, no, be honest, Scott. the way I am by everyone else. That hurts. Be honest. Will not be Now's the time to say it. Say it, baby. You hear that? He's hurt. Be honest. I, I and I'm I'm <laughs> say it, Scott. No, no, no. I didn't think uh, you're talented. You just, you just said earlier you don't think. I said, why don't you say it to any of these other guys? And you go because you don't think I work as hard as you. And you don't think I'm as good no, as you. No, you work hard. I'm, I'm not. I'm not debating that. You don't think jealousy? He does. Are you jealous of him, or do you really think he's incompetent? I'm not jealous. Um, I can see something. You're not jealous. Incompetent. What you're, incompetent? You're not jealous of Gary, oh. of his relationship with Howard, of being in the in crowd. Am I jealous? No. I of his work? I of his pay? I don't think of, I'm jealous of yes him. Yes or no? In crowd. I mean, no, I'm not jealous. And if you see it as jealous, I don't feel it as jealous. So what do you see it as? Resentment. I, I don't but know. why? Yeah, why? Why resent me? You why? can't have what he has. He's him. Why, how come, why, don't, why do you resent me and say, and I'm not picking on it, but why don't you resent Benji? Benji's got a great job. Benji's in the in crowd. Benji works hard. Why don't you resent him? Why me? Do you feel you could be a better producer than Gary of this show? No. I, it's not what I do. I, I, you know, I'm not a producer. I, I couldn't. Then why do you resent him? I guess I, you know, I feel that he gets a lot of attention and praise. Would that be jealous? I don't. What is she doing? Let her, let him lay on him answer. Where I, where I, bit, I feel I work equally as hard and don't get uh, as as much. So you're jealous of him. If, if that's what you call jealousy, I guess. I what do you call I jealousy? I suppose I am. What do you call jealousy? Being um, you know, of ha I guess him having something that I don't. Right, aren't you, you just aren't described a bunch of things I, you want that right. he has. Aren't you want. angry that he gets personal appearances and you don't? Yeah. Aren't, um, are be you, honest. Yes. Aren't you angry that but I... I, didn't, aren't, I I'm, <laughs> wait, aren't you angry that I did the trim spa campaign and made money? I know you were very upset about yeah, that. Yeah, I would have liked to be part me. of that. But no, but, part of it. But, but nobody asked you to do it, but 
but right. I'm on the air more than you. Right. I'm not more important than you, I don't think, but I'm, on, I'm more visible than you. And that's you know what he just said? You're more important. He's Gary. And, no, and, and, the, and they felt that I was a more visible person to do okay. the church spot that's thing. That's fine. They made this, this decision. But, but still, I feel, I hear in your voice. Pat, what can Scott do with this jealousy that he has of Gary? He's focused on Gary. Right now, he has to purge himself of it. He has to admit right now in front that? of you he's doing it. He's admitting for the first time that he's jealous of Gary. He can't even come to terms with it. See, this is it right now. Okay. And there's nothing to be jealous of. If you're the best engineer. <laughs> I know. Engineer, <laughs> I know. And he's the best producer that's apples and oranges. Right, then we should be the two best people in the business. This is the all-star team. That, that, absolutely. It's the best radio, the best radio show in the world, right? Oh, yeah. You're the engineer for the show. That's right. You should look in the mirror and shake your head up and down instead of being bitching and moaning and being in a bad attitude. Okay. And be part of the team. They don't believe you're part of the team. And can yeah, I... you punch in and you punch out. You're a union worker, but we have a team player and a union player at conflict here. I have a question for you, Scott, because this came up with Pat and I earlier. Go ahead. We do the staff meeting every Thursday. Right. Do you come to it? No. Why? It's during... Well, how do you what? expect to be invited to his birthday party if you don't go to the I'll team I'll meeting? I'll tell you why. I was coming to the meetings every week, right. and then I would go finish what I had to do. Right. So that involved me staying past my eight hours, and that what, involved me getting overtime. And this is and this is where I feel anger. Okay. Well, it, just, it goes past your hourly wage, but in the in the grand scheme of things, right. if you're in that staff meeting where we talk about today, Pat Croce's coming on, and we need three podiums set up with three microphones. Right. Instead of in the morning, you're going. Nobody told me. Even though you'd have to stay a little extra in the in the long run, wouldn't it a make your life easier and b make you more important to us? Yes. Then why don't you do it? That's, no, what, that's no. one of the things that's always nagging. When will you start doing it? I'll, I'll start Thursday. With a positive attitude. At the next meeting. With a positive attitude. And if the meeting ends at 12.15, don't tell everyone I didn't get paid for the 15 minutes, because I think it helps you as well as us. Well, it's not 15 minutes. It's like It, it could be an hour, Scott. It could be an hour, an hour and a half. Scott, the point is you want to earn respect. I do. And, and you'll and earn respect better. by investing more time. Right. Okay. They want you in the but, meeting. But you agree, yes. Howard, that you wouldn't want to work for free either. You don't come in here to get paid nothing. I don't come here to get paid nothing. Right. I don't think you're treated uh, well as an engineer in terms of... But he's right, Pat. You are the best engineer. I have fought for you all along for you to work here. I believe in you. Thank you. If you have a, a if you have a money dispute, well, uh, yeah, Gary yeah, isn't the guy yeah. sitting in bad mouthing you, and I'm not the guy no. bad mouthing you. We're 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 saying you're the best engineer in the business. Did you hear that? You don't hear it. No, I know. But Tom Chiasano is trying to get in on this. But yeah. I do want to say one more Coming thing. Every door you can find. I just want, yeah. Here's I just, Tom. Can I just say one more thing? <laughs> yes. Just, Pat put me on the spot, and he said to me, "Right now, if you had to, if you were in charge, and you had to decide whether to take Scott with you, would you?" And I said, "The answer is I don't know." And he said, "Why?" And I said, be I said, here's the deal. I love Scott's work. Scott's work is not in question. It's Scott's attitude. And if his attitude was better, I'd take him with me in a second. But I don't have that choice. You hear that? It's my attitude. No, I can... I can totally and that's your choice. That. That's, I do have a bad attitude. And it's just because... That's your choice. That's been over the years of, of not... So when are you going to purge it? When are you going to let that rest? That'll be right now. Do we have your word on it? Yes. I think one additional point, if sure. you wouldn't mind, Gary... Do you feel apology is due him for a yesterday? Absolutely. I was going to call him last night, but I spoke to Pat, and we were going to do this on the air. I wanted to call you after you left yesterday. That was probably the meanest thing I said to anybody, and I apologize for it. I accept. How do you feel hearing that from Gary? Well, <laughs> I mean, How do you I, feel? Feel, I feel good because it takes a man to admit that he was wrong and apologize. Absolutely. I, I, could, I knew I thank you. the second I said it, I might as well just stuck a knife in your heart. And, <laughs> and anybody I told that I said it just went, oh, my God. I thought that was pretty low. I, Tom, yes, do you yes. want to add something to this? Well, I was just going to say, it's Scott. It is Tom's fault. The show has grinded to a halt. Go ahead, Tom, please. If Gary and Scott thought it was important for Scott to attend the, the Thursday meeting and then stay overtime and do and complete his day's work. Well, that's Tom. So, if somebody just got to come to me and say, hey, this is important. He should be here. Not not true, Tom, and I'll tell you why. Because you know that for a long time there was a that was, no... But that was then. That that was, was but then, that got lifted this, a month ago. No, it was more than that. The, you know, the no overtime edict for Scott. Right, which was a, cre a, a creation that... Or a Scott's creation, because he said some things that were said on the air that got the CEO of the company to say, and that's more you don't like it here? And that's more resentment. See, that's another that's more, Scott I was being honest think, on the air on a radio show, and I got the, the S kicked out of me by the big, big bucket right. in the company. All right, here's the so thing. Why wouldn't I feel resentment? 
you know, you open your mouth and you'd be honest, and then all of a sudden, bam. But there were plenty of times well, after that. I'm sorry, but i got to say, there were plenty of times after that, as time went on, when it was important for Scott to stay and do overtime where I would approve overtime. All right, there it is. I, is this, this is, I guess it's resolved, Pat. I think it's resolved. You're getting overtime. You're going to develop a better attitude. Yes, much you better. feel part of the team. Yes. Gary, Bubba Boo is not going to ignore you, turn around, but you also have to respect his position and what he does. Okay. What is it, Benji? It's just not coming out. Scott is treated like dirt around here. By, well, it's, by, it's, by interns on up. Well, not, I'm not but, saying... By, no, by, but it by, works by, both ways, i got to tell you, because Scott will treat interns like dirt. Never. I never treat interns like dirt. I have Don't make interns, me start the parade. Who did I treat like dirt as an intern? A lot of, pe a lot of the interns say that you will yell at them. And I, you, you is that true? Do you yell at interns? I have on occasion yelled at interns. Is that a yes? Yes. I, I don't like to because they, they're they here to help. And work. <laughs> hey, Pat, this is some case, huh? <laughs> yeah, you know, this, this is, is going to blow your mind, pal. Like yeah. my fault. Do me a favor. What's it cost to have you here full time? <laughs> Talk to Tom about We're that. Sony <laughs> yeah. Can I say one thing in closing? Yes. Scott's not obligated to stay at this job. I'm looking at a guy who feels like he's not respected, that's treated I like can, dirt, that's true. who continues to stay. And there's a part of me that says, well... Either stand up for yourself and go somewhere else, or right. sort of take what you have here and say, "This is these are the cards I've been dealt, and this is how I'm going to play it." Makes sense, Scott. Do you agree? Yeah, I mean, I can leave anytime I want. I suppose. I mean, you know, if I don't like it, then and, or, and, or you can choose a better attitude and attack this job. Right. Become. You know Let me say this about Scott because nobody's coming to poor Scott's defense. <laughs> right. Scott I feel loves like this job. But it's hard why? to tell. I'm he trying to figure out now why I love this, this job. job. I, I wouldn't know I that. I don't think he, you don't recognize. I that. don't because he, he never lets me know that. He's not recognized for loving. I see it. He loves this job. I would never know that. I wouldn't. All you do is complain, and right. I think, and I, I think, do, I do. How, how would I know you love this job? God, is Robin right? Do you love this job? I absolutely love it. it uh, otherwise, I wouldn't be here. I mean, even. <laughs> I bet you didn't Why even you know I knew that. Why are you God? laughing? <laughs> where are you going to go? Yeah, really, really, where am I going to go? <laughs> Let's be honest. No, I mean, I, but even right. so, he absolutely loves being associated with this show. He loves working on this show. He Some takes resolution. great pride. Robin, we have to just add a little resolution here. Scott. When Gary asks for something, right. one Do of it. those urgent... Here's this, Pat has made me realize something. i got to say the guy's good. In order to be respected and remembered and considered, you've got to make yourself invaluable. Okay. And your work is top-notch. Thank you. I've gone to Tom many times. Believe me, Tom's no fan of yours, I don't think. <laughs> and uh, I, I know I'm going to tell you something. I would notice. If, it, if you left tomorrow, I don't even think Tom would notice. He would love me to leave tomorrow. But I would notice. I tell him what a great job you do. Thank you. I tell him all the time what a great job you do. Thank you. I said, Scott is invaluable. Don't make me cry. No, I'm telling you. Scott, do you and I've told you this. And enjoy this. this is I've, what told you, I've told you this before. Yes. I've sat you down and said, Scott, you're really important to me and the show. Be part of the meetings. Okay. Be part of the intern program here. Be part of everything. Make friends with everyone. Be enthusiastic. If you are, if, if it's true what Robin says, that you love the job, then let everyone know you love the job. Embrace it. Be proud to be a Howard Scott. Stern Show <laughs> guy. A young lover of And you will become even more valuable, even, dare I say, to Tom. Tom said, God, this guy's so upbeat. He keeps things going. Yeah. It's really hard. We can't lose him. It's if Howard ever leaves, I, I, I got to have this guy. <laughs> now, Robin, why didn't you invite Scott? I'll tell you why. You don't even have to answer. She didn't invite you to the party because who thinks of you? You're never That's around. That's not <laughs> it. That's not it at all. Everybody was thought of, but I had a set number of people I could invite, and I had to cut in various places. So lots of people I would have loved to have been there couldn't be there. And by the way, yes, Scott does fight with interns. Here's a tape of Scott fighting with the interns. Oh, I, I didn't deny that I didn't fight. That's with right. Just so everyone knows we're not making stuff up. You've got to get a better attitude. I that. Absolutely. Go do your little thing. Okay. You're a f intern. That's right, pal. Yeah, really. And you're a f 50 year old and you're acting like you're in f sixth grade. Okay? Look, recess is over. What is your problem? What is your problem? What is your problem? Do you understand what, what's going on here? You have no clue what's going on here. So before you open your mouth, why don't you find I out have some no facts? Clue because okay? you're not telling me. Why don't you find out some facts before you open your mouth? What, okay? what are the facts that you're talking about? Huh? 
<laughs> oh, there you go. I could play the whole thing. This will change, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, if somebody disrespects me and steps all over me and hits me over the head with a baseball bat, what do you expect me to do? Can I answer uh, that? Yeah, yeah, can yeah. I do I do it the wrong way? No, nope. can I tell you something? I, I do get angry with you, and I do, you know, even this morning with Sal, I might have jumped on a little bit about the farting thing, although that was inappropriate. But I take a lot of crap around here, and I swallow a lot of crap, and there's lots of times where I love to say to people above and below me, go after yourself, and I don't. Takes two people to fight, Scott. One's no. got to have a good attitude. One's got, you know, if, if there's a bad attitude, then somebody's got to have a good attitude, or you wind up with an argument. And people with bad attitudes don't get good things more often than not. I know that, but I just don't like being taken advantage of. That gets me really, you know, worked up. Well, but taking advantage of by an no, intern? I mean, well, if somebody comes and just starts, you know, ragging on me or cursing They're me out, I don't know what you. started that argument. I don't even remember it. You know what? We, we had two semesters ago, an intern came in here on his second day and started really making fun of me. I was pissed at that intern the entire semester, but I didn't let him know it. He left. I shook his hand. I thought we gave that guy a great opportunity, and he immediately turned on me for no good reason. Well, he'll never but, have a job with you either. But, but fine. But it's, you know what I mean? Like, I'm done. I'm not going to sit there and hammer an intern. I know how I feel. I am confident enough in what I do to not care what he thinks, meaning the intern. Right. That's a good point, Scott. Pat, uh, he told you, Howard Stern told you that you're the best engineer on the planet. So <laughs> yeah. no, one, so no one, unless you give them permission, can make you feel lousy now. No one. No intern. Uh, but boo no one. Your problem is you don't believe that I'm telling you the truth. Do you believe him? I, no, I do. I believe you. No, you don't. Yes, I do. You don't believe. You think that you're here just because, well, no one else is here. No, you're here because I wanted you here. And you don't have that. But I think one of Scott's biggest problems is he's just not being heard. He's not being heard. I, I'll tell you something. Well, who would listen to him with that monotone? What? But the funny thing is, you know, everybody's saying, well, Scott doesn't yell. Scott yells at me all the time, and I just stand there and tell him when he's finished, I give him whatever I want him she to do. He goes and does it. Well, you're lucky she has a good attitude. <laughs> yeah, she laughs other me. people don't. And, and the other thing I want to say to Scott, I started to think yesterday about what life on the show would be without Scott. And I oh. sort of think that... How good would he, it be? No, right? no, he knows... I'm not talking about the attitude. I'm talking about the quality of the work. He knows the show better than anyone else. And trying to teach someone new that would be very difficult. These new guys do good work with the current stuff. Scott's got the history of the show in his head. He's got 20 years of knowing what I want and what you want in his head. And I can say yeah. for a fact that he will go out of his way to do whatever he can for you. If you need something, Scott will turn over this see, I don't see that. Sounds like a hey, Pat, here. punch Scott in the face. Let's we'll see what happens. So you don't, <laughs> Gary, you don't see that. I'll tell you why you don't see that. Because you usually send down stuff with an intern. Here, give this to Scott, and then you're, you're oblivious to what No, no, I, I, listen, I know. All right, let me, let me look. Pat, no offense to you. You did a great job, but oh, how are forget you? these two. It's tough. It's tough. All right, Pat is a, a, a relationships expert. I thought he did a great job. He did good. Yeah. He did a real good job. Tough. But you, you two, two tough. You two are very thick. We're brick walls. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's end it. Howard, like this. Come on. What is this? Hugs. Hugs. Oh, oh, come wait. on. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah. Pat, 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 no, no, no. Come here. Can I say it in my best Philly accent? I ain't no homo. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come Hug on. each other. Get in here. Go ahead. Want, get, come on. You're on the same team. Hug. Get in there. Give it. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Howard. Very good, Pat. You're good. When is your show on? Every day. Here in New York, it's UPN 9 at 2 and 2.30. Chicago's the same. L.A., 10 o'clock in the morning on UPN. Philly, CBS at 3 o'clock. It's on every, every Tom, station. Tom, go every make day. out with Pat. Pat's, I've seen Pat speak. He's a great presenter. He's right. spoken at our manager's meetings. He was awesome. Thanks, Tom. Well, well congratulations, you. Pat. You've just worked with the two most difficult people on <laughs> the planet. Congratulations to you. Thank you. And we will be back right after these words. What is it about old girlfriends that can really piss a guy off? Sam Kinison and...